Assalamu alaikum. 6 p.m. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Farzana Khan. First, the headlines. Prime Minister says renowned international companies are investing in Pakistan due to government's pragmatic policies. U.S. Special Representative for Afghan Reconciliation discussed regional security situation and Afghan peace process with the Army Chief today. Information Minister says the government's agenda to eliminate corruption is earning international acclaim. Minister of State for Interior today assured the Senate that no compromise would be made on national security. Accountability Court Islamabad has reserved judgments in Al Azizia and flagship references against former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. The U.S. State Department has approved $3.5 billion sale of Patriot air and missile defense systems to Turkey. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says foreign investors and renowned international companies are investing in Pakistan due to efforts of the incumbent government. He was talking to a delegation of members of National Assembly hailing from Bahawalpur Division who called on him in Islamabad today. The Prime Minister expressed the hope that in the coming time, Pakistan will be a socially prosperous and economically stable country. Referring to the problems being faced by people of South Punjab, Imran Khan reiterated government's commitment to remove deprivation of the area with provision of health, education, and employment opportunities. U.S. Special Representative for Afghan Reconciliation, Zalmi Khalilzad, called on Chief of Army Staff General Kamar Javed Banjwa today. Regional security situation and Afghan peace process were discussed during the meeting. The visiting dignitary appreciated Pakistan's efforts for Afghan peace process. Reiterating that peace in Afghanistan is important for Pakistan, the army chief assured continued efforts for bringing peace and stability in the region. Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Chaudhary Fawadusen, says the government has strengthened the institutions and its policy of investigating corruption is bringing investment to the country. Talking to newsmen outside Parliament House in Islamabad today, he said the agenda of corruption-free Pakistan is earning the country international acclaim. The minister said investment by Saudi Arabia and resumption of flights by British Airways have endorsed the confidence of international community in Pakistan. Reacting to an article in Washington Post, Chaudhry Fabad Hussain said the people are appreciating Prime Minister's continued focus on plight of the poor. He said the working class Pakistanis are excited about the chicken and egg anti-poverty -power pro program of the government. Fabad Chaudhry said even more affluent families appreciated Imran Khan's continued focus on the plight of the poor, which he vowed to prioritize. The Senate was informed today that no request has so far been received to hand over Dr. Shakil Afridi to the United States and no external pressure will be accepted in this regard. Responding to a question during question R, Minister of State for Interior Shahriyar Afridi said the government would not make any compromise on national security and every decision or initiative will be taken indigenously to safeguard the national interests. Responding to a question, Minister for Railways Sheikh Rashid Ahmed said plan to upgrade railway track from Karachi to Peshawar via Lahore in next five years has been finalized. He said the main line one from Karachi to Peshawar via Lahore except Khanewal, Shorkot, Faisalabad, Chandra section will be upgraded under CPEC project. He said railway track from Lahore to Peshawar via Rawalpindi will be dualized in the next five years. Responding to a point of order raised by Hassel Bizinjo, Deputy Chairman Senate Salim Manviwala said he has written a letter to Chairman Nab that consent of Senate Secretariat should be sought before summoning any parliamentarian. He said there should be a proper mechanism if an agency is required to call a parliamentarian. He said media trial of parliamentarians should be avoided. This is Radio Pakistan giving you the news. 
Minister for Planning and Development Khusro Bakhtiar has invited Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank and Chinese corporate leaders to forge a sustainable long-term partnership with Pakistan for financing projects that contribute to overall economic growth of the country. He extended the invitation in Beijing today in his meetings with President of AIIB, Jin Ling Quinn, and leadership of various Chinese companies on the sidelines of the CPEC's 8th Joint Cooperation Committee meeting scheduled to be held tomorrow in the Chinese capital. Khosro Bakhtiar would co-chair the JCC meeting with Vice Chairman, National Reform Commission of China. Minister for Power Resources Faisal Wada says groundbreaking ceremony of Mohammed Dam will be held in first week of next month. Addressing a news conference in Islamabad today, he said the opening will be a historic landmark for country's future water needs. He said Prime Minister Imran Khan will be chief guest on the occasion, while Chief Justice of Pakistan and other high-profile guests have been invited to grace the occasion. Accountability Court Islamabad has reserved judgments in Al Azizia and flagship references against former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. The verdict will be announced on Monday. In today's hearing, Nawaz Sharif's defense counsel, Khwaja Haris, presented his arguments in rebuttal. He also submitted new documents. However, his plea regarding extra time for submission of more documents was rejected by the court. Judge Arshad Malik heard the case. Meanwhile, hearing of reference against former finance minister Isaac Dar about assets beyond sources of income has been adjourned till 2nd of next month. In occupied Kashmir, the chairman of all parties Hurriyat Conference, Sayyid Ali Gilani, and senior Hurriyat leader Mirwais Umar Farooq have said that India is trampling over established democratic and moral values by keeping resistance leaders behind the bars after implicating them in fake cases. Sayyid Ali Gilani and Mirwais Umar Farooq in a joint statement issued in Sirinagar today condemned the authorities' action of subjecting Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front Chief Muhammad Yasin Malik to severe torture during a protest in Sirinagar. Tariqe Hurriyat, Jammu and uh, Kashmir Chairman Mohammad Ashraf Zehrai, in a statement in Sirinagar, urged the global trade organizations to link their investment and businesses in India to peaceful resolution of the Kashmir dispute. Complete shutdown was observed in South Kashmir's Pulwama district for the fifth consecutive day today against the civilian killings by the Indian troops. The U.S. State Department has approved $3.5 billion sale of Patriot air and missile defense systems to Turkey. According to the Defense Security Cooperation Agency, the department approved the sale of 80 Patriot guided enhanced missiles and 60 other missiles to Ankara, including radar sets, engagement control stations, and launching stations. Russia, Iran, and Turkey have agreed to make efforts at convening the first session of the Syrian Constitutional Committee early next year. In a joint statement read out in Geneva after the Russian, Iranian, and Turkish ministers meeting with the UN Special Envoy, Stephen de Mistura, they said that the work of the new body should be governed by a sense of compromise and constructive engagement. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov told reporter in Geneva that meeting of three foreign ministers has produced positive results of their consultations with the Syrian parties on the composition of the Constitutional Committee. And finally, the weather report. Mainly cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 24 hours. However, very cold weather is likely to prevail in northern parts of the country. Dense and shallow foggy conditions are likely to continue in few central and southern parts of Punjab and Peshawar Division during morning and night hours. To end the news, the main points once again. Prime Minister says renowned international companies are investing in Pakistan due to government's pragmatic policies. U.S. Special Representative for Afghan Reconciliation discussed regional security situation and Afghan peace process with the Army Chief today. Information Minister says the government's agenda to eliminate corruption is earning international acclaim. 
And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.